News has this article up that they just dropped, I think it was a couple of days ago, with this gentleman here. He's the police commissioner out there at the Metropolitan in the UK, Sir Mark Rowley. So supposedly this said, this person says that word on the street is if you have something to say about their their practices, their police practices out there in the UK, uh, that they have authority to extradite you if you live in another country to face the repercussions or prosecution by their government for speaking on what's going on over there. Like, is this like 1984 or something, dude? Like, so if I'm speaking about this, is this guy going to come out here and say, hey, I want this guy, Timmy B. We need to get this guy kicking it with Timmy B because he's speaking on the UK riots, which are very un unjust it's should not be happening and they're doing a terrible job uh of um de-escalating the situation i have they have every right to prosecute me whatever dude it's your boy kw tv this is sky news this was five days ago or four days ago but i'm just hearing about it now let's see what they have to say about this um, we've changed our tactics in the last couple of days um, so besides marshalling more officers we're brigading some of them at key strategic locations across the country to give us more agility to respond to wherever the protests are most intense so that we can respond with agility and show overwhelming force so that the criminals and thugs on the streets don't succeed. We're hearing about specifically immigration centres or immigration lawyers being targeted. How concerned are you for people in that space tonight? So we've seen that list circulated. Obviously, that's at the centre of our planning uh, centre of our planning for tonight, um, also keeping an open mind on other possibilities and other intelligence that's coming into our system. That's why we have thousands of officers on tonight. We will protect those people. It is completely unacceptable, regardless of your political views, to intimidate any sector of lawful activity, and we will not let the immigration asylum system be intimidated. They're operating lawfully. The thugs and criminals who are targeting them are not, and we'll stop that. Do you believe some commentators former So that's pretty much anybody that's a local there who's against this migrant immigration to their country are the crooks and thugs or criminals and thugs. That's crazy. This is yeah, coming from this guy. So far, I, I'm not the one saying it. Across the country could be sipping into terrorism. Is that how seriously you think we should be treating this? So we'll throw the full force of the law. There's a guy who's a mayor of London named Sadiq Kwan. As offenders, whether that's charging people with assaults, violent disorder, riot, and uh, if terrorism offences are appropriate, I know the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions has said he's prepared to consider that. We will throw the false force of the law at people. And whether you're in this country committing crimes on the streets, or committing crimes from further afield online, we will come after you. Talk to me about that, because we have seen some high-profile figures whipping up the hatred. You talked about it in there with the officers, in fact, about this. Come on over. Being added to by online commentary. I mean, I'm even thinking of the likes of Elon Musk getting involved. What are you considering when it comes to dealing with people who are whipping up this kind of behavior from behind a keyboard, maybe in a different country? Being a keyboard warrior does not make you safe from the law. You can be guilty of offences of, of incitement, of stirring up racial hatred. There are numerous terrorist offences regarding um, uh, the sort of publishing of material. All of those offences are in play if people are provoking hatred and violence on the streets. And we will come after those individuals just as we will physically confront on the streets the thugs and the obs who are, taking, who are causing the problems for communities. And on that note, a lot of this comment, commentary discusses two-tier policing. Um, where do you stand on that and what would you like to say to the people who say that you are treating different groups differently when it comes to your policing response? It's complete nonsense. We have um, commentators from either end of the political spectrum who like to throw accusations of bias at the police because we stand in the middle, we operate independently under the law without fear or favour. And if you've got crazy views over there, you don't like it. And if you've got crazy views from over there, you don't like it. We will continue to do that. 
The serious voices who echo those are of more concern to me because the risk is they legitimise it and they legitimise the violence that the officers I'm sending on mutual aid today will face on the streets. They are putting them at risk by suggesting that any of those officers are going out with, as, with any intent other than to operate without fear or favour in protecting communities. Are there individuals particularly that you want to name in that? I, mean, again, I don't I mean, want to give individuals credit um, by naming them individually. Yeah, of course not. Of course not, right? But if you're a keyboard warrior... Who cares? Because guaranteed, if he would, somebody would probably be trying to find those people. That's not... I, I, I mean, for... I don't even live here. I don't even live here. I don't even live in the UK. This don't even affect me right now. <laughs> this just don't even this don't even affect me right now. I got some folks out there in the UK. Shout out to y'all. Man. You're not safe from the law if you incite violence. Could even somebody like Elon Musk be considered for something? I'm not like gonna that? get into naming individuals. Uh <laughs> Yo, I did hear about that. Apparently, like, Elon Musk is, like, speaking on this, and they're like, ah, uh, they got something to say about Elon Musk, of course, because he, he's out there like, Aaron, Aaron, all, he's, like, shining a light on all these little dark places that these people just want to keep dark. This guy, Elon Musk, he just got, like, the magnifying glass. He just pulls up, and he's just looking, he's looking, while he's running all these millions of different things, and control of all these different people uh, playing playing Diablo 4 he's got time to go find all the BS <laughs> he said, but they don't want to they don't want to they don't want the smoke with Elon Musk this dude don't want the smoke with Elon Musk <laughs> and then talk to me about um, I know there were frustrations that you were feeling certainly on Monday in regards to an incident with a Sky journalist I just wondered generally how you found the past week in terms of the stress and the strain that you are under, where does this come in terms of your career, how much pressure the Met generally policing in, in this country is? I'm, I'm, the incident with Sky journalist was, was trivial. It was a trivial sort of um, sideline. Um, we've had some very constructive um, meetings at COBRA. Um, it's really helpful that government's looking to bring um, all the arms of government behind supporting us, and that's very welcome to chiefs. Um, meanwhile, we're facing a very big challenge. There's no, uh, there's no shirking from that. But I'm, as you heard in there, I'm very proud of the men and women of the Metropolitan Police. Um, and I know my colleagues across the country as chiefs are equally proud of their men and women. These are men and women who are prepared to stand in the middle of violence and confront it in a situation that 99% of the population would run a million miles from. They're prepared to do that to protect the peace and keep people safe. And that deserves our admiration. Can you believe that? That's the end of the video too. Um, I'm going to go leave the link for that video. That was Sky News. That's UK Riots Met Police Chief or, uh, MET, or MET Met Police Chief hits out at two-tier policing claims and warns keyboard worse. So what this guy it seems like he was doing, he's just threatening anyone outside or inside the UK is speaking on any of this. He has some smoke for for us. For those particular people, okay. Uh, and then he won't name any of those great people that are out there doing this great work out there in the UK, you know, obviously because if he were to name them, they would be in fear for their lives because the way that they're treating people, this, I just, I'm watching the video. I, I once again, I have not been there. So, you know, and I'm still waiting on my interview from someone from the UK that is reputable, credible, and all that jazz. Uh, to hop on an interview with me on a Zoom call so I can actually get some more information. I mean, look, man, for the way that they're treating, like, the police there, the government there, treating uh, the locals there, the people who are, like, born and raised there or are citizens, actual citizens of the UK, they're not really treating them that great. Doesn't, it doesn't seem like that. And then they're threatening people who, who are, like, who see this stuff and don't like it, like you're threatening these people. Like, I, 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 I'm not sure if that is, I don't think that that's a good idea, but you folks let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the like, share, and the subscribe button. It's your boy KWTB. And we checked out sky news is UK riots report going on here. It's crazy. Keyboard warriors, right? Mm, I don't know, man. Yeah.